In this video, we're going to complete example four. It says, which of the following two equations represent parallel lines? So you'll notice that we have three equations. And some people can look at this and they can figure out straight away which ones are parallel because they have a really good understanding of the gradient intercept formula. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the graphs on Desmos and then we will be able to see which ones are parallel. Let's bring up Desmos. So our equations are negative 3x plus 1. So we don't have to put the y in. You can just write negative 3x plus 1 here. Enter. Let's look at the next one. 2x minus 4. 2x minus 4. You can see that both of these lines, the blue and the green, are definitely not parallel. Parallel lines will never, ever cross each other. So that's a big giveaway. And finally, we have negative 3x plus 5. Excellent. So you notice how blue and purple line are parallel. They look like the railway tracks, don't they? So what makes them parallel? First of all, we'll circle the, oh, we'll state actually which ones are parallel. So the ones that are parallel are equation one and equation three. So let's have a look at them. What do they have in common? Well, they both have a negative 3 in front of the x. So why would that make a difference? This negative 3 is where the m goes in our gradient intercept formula, which stands for your gradient. So both of them have the exact same gradient of negative 3. So why would that make them parallel? Well, if we bring up our graph again, let's get rid of the green line and just focus on the parallel ones. The reason they are parallel is because they have the same gradient. And gradient really just tells you the slope of the graph. So if they both have the same slope, then they would have to be parallel. In fact, I can do any equation with a negative 3. Let's go negative 3x minus 1 this time. And you'll notice that it will be parallel every time. So let's do negative 3x minus 5 this time. Doesn't matter what the y-intercept is. What matters is what the gradient is. The gradient decides whether it's parallel or not. Anyway, that concludes example 4. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.